let me guess you guys clicked on this video because your trolling motor does this it should not do that of course and let me guess while you're out there on the water fishing you've been finding little plastic bushing pieces like this coming out of your trolling motor that's what that's supposed to look like those are the plastic bushings that sit in your rear pivot mech here on your trolling motor um, today we are going to show you how to change those in this video you're going to need two replacement bushings you're going to need a t30 star bit going to need a fat screwdriver a 1 16th allen and then a quarter inch allen i'm just going to use the drill for that there it goes to get the parts out and uh, that should be all you should need i mean you can keep blue loctite or red loctite whatever but i don't think i'm going to loctite these screws back in all right we're going to start this by taking these uh the side plate, side plates off and then take them off of both sides slide that right out make sure you don't drop your screws and you're going to do the same thing on the other side so looking at this mount right here you can see right in here there's that gap that's where that bushing goes you can see this one's completely gone and this one right here is spinning and well on its way out so we are going to change both of those the next step is going to be to take the actual trolling motor off itself uh, you guys want to be careful when you do this you want to make sure this thing is down and locked or having somebody hold it um, as you take it off because you do have that lift assist actuator right there and that thing will smack you in the mouth if you are not ready for it you're just going to take your quarter inch allen key right in the top of the head right there undo that bolt and then slide it off so i'll show you that here in a second pull that out make sure we don't lose these washers here and this thing should just lift right off get it out from under the uh, trailer here and it comes right off just like that this thing's heavy so I would definitely recommend two people doesn't help that we have the uh, mega 360 and mega live and all the extra stuff on there but yeah gonna come off just like that and gives you access to front of the mount there and the back of the mount so one of the things we are gonna do is we're gonna release this and uh, hold on to that mount see if we can hold it Hopefully no ER visits today. All right, so one of the things we've done, we've taken our strap, put it back over the top of here, gave it a little bit of slack so it can come up. And then you're going to want to push down on this bar as you pull up on the cable here so it releases. If you just pull up on this and don't release the latch here, it won't open. So, uh, let's put you guys right here and do that. This thing is under a lot of tension, so it's going to take a... There we go. You see this thing? It's a little springy. It's not super strong. But if you are not prepared for that, that will come up quick. Like, look how, how quick that is. That thing will come up quick and bust you in the face if you're not ready for it. 
and you just walk it back and then once it gets up to that up position it'll stop and then now there's no pressure on that strut anymore but that strut right there is what causes that initial pressure so right now there's no pressure on it so you can start taking other pieces off next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these if you look in the top right here there's two allen heads we're going to take off right there that's where your uh, 1 16th allen wrench comes into play sometimes these are pretty hard to get out but this isn't the first time that I've uh, busted bushings in this thing, so they're not stuck like they could be with a uh, new trolling motor. They're actually kind of loose. All these do is hold that silver pin in that you see on the left and right side there. And then once those are out, See if I can sit you guys down here. All right, these guys have had the potential to be a little bit of a pain in the butt because I think from the factory, these are uh, red lock tighted in, but they shouldn't be that big of a deal on mine because these bushings have been changed before. So just blue lock, blue lock tight on them. Once you get those undone, I've already done the other, other side, it just pops right out. I'll take this thing, push that bar in, that one falls right out. And as you see, that's one half of it that's pretty sheared off. And in the top up here, that's the one. So that one's still, it's not terrible, but we're going to change it because it's already starting to mushroom out on the corner right there. Lift the other side out, and the other side's completely gone. That was this one that fell out. So yeah, these ones are well overdue. So these guys, they sit like this. You want that piece to be over the top. It's got the cutout for it just like that. And you want those like that on both sides. Take it, put it back through, put your bushing through, and it should sit just like that. Once you put it back in the mount, it'll pull everything tight. Do the bottom side, and then we'll get these bolts put back in. that right back in there like so I think they come up with something better than plastic to use as these bushings. All right, we had to take a break. 
super hot in this garage, so I had to let the camera cool off because it overheated. But yeah, it let us uh, it let us put those bushings in there. Make sure they're flush when we put it in, and put it straight back up. Line it back up in those grooves. Push it in like so. Lines back up. I'll throw those bolts back in. I don't think I'm gonna put any Loctite on. We'll see how it does. I've got extra bushings, so if they break, we'll just put some more in there. Right. Take our torch bit. those back in like so put these other two in Got it back in, bushings are in. Let's put it down and uh, put the uh, trolling motor head back on it and see if it still wobbles like it does. This mount just might be worn out, this piece. what you want she's back down the mounts nice and solid screws back in is the old bushings drop this piece yeah that side was toast the outside bushing this one here was just yeah, kind of smushed out. Not terrible, but whatever. Boom, boom. Line it back up, slide it back down. put this bolt back in if you guys didn't know this is literally the only thing that holds your trolling motor onto this mountain is this allen head right here doesn't take much to put it back on this thing's pretty pretty short Snug it up so that don't go nowhere. Alright, so in the beginning of the video, we showed you how bad this guy was shaking. Ugh. Woo, about to lose it. Alright. <laughs> so anyway, got those new bushings in. Go ahead and give it a shake. And that thing is solid. Just like it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to move left and right at all once you get this thing in there. That's what you want. I'm not going to bore you guys with putting the side plates back on, but you know, that's just three screws. And uh, that is it. So if you guys are having issues with your Ultrex or Fortrex because they're the same mounts, uh, an Ultrex will go into a Fortrex mount, but a Fortrex won't go into an Ultrex mount but they share the same parts. So if you're having issues with your Ultrex, your Fortrex, or any of that stuff, wobbling in the base, it's probably those bushings. If you're getting plastic chunks, like this one, out there on your carpet deck, after you've put your trolling motor up or down, your bushings are shot and it's time to change them. So it's just that easy, guys. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.
one of the things that I did mean to tell you guys is that when these bushings start coming out and you start getting that free play, um, if both bushings come out, it can cause your trolling motor to go, uh, to extend on its own, to deploy on its own, uh, when you're running in rough water. So like during blast offs, during the times where you're hitting boat wakes and stuff like that, if both of those bushings are out and your trolling motor is, uh, not stable in that mount, when you hit those wakes, it can jar it loose and have it deploy as you're driving. So if you've got those bushings loose, go ahead and get those things replaced, especially you tournament guys. You don't want this thing coming out during blast off and ripping off the front of your boat. 